Welcome to the Film Trio, the show about in-depth conversations in movies. I'm Parker. I'm Taylor. I'm Mason. <laughs> and that's our editor, Ma- Mason. I don't know if you can hear him, but yeah, that's our editor, and yeah, he's just he's just here to edit all this stuff. Okay, anyway, we're starting off with a bang on the first episode, because today we were talking about Squid Game. Mm. Now, disclaimer, there will be spoilers in this episode, so keep that in mind. We are going to give a brief summary of each episode and discuss whether we will be able to survive each game. Okay, the first game is Red Light, Green Light. Well, how would that... Well, I'm pretty sure everybody's played that, but how would it be played in Squid Game? Red Light, Green Light is where all contestants stay behind a line until an ominous doll turns her head away from the contestants and says Green Light. Then all contestants proceed to move toward the doll until she turns her head in at the contestants and says red light. Okay, makes sense. If anyone moves during this time, they are eliminated. Mm-hmm. The end goal of the game mm-hmm. is to get past the doll, but there's a twist. Mm-hmm. If you get eliminated, you die. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> with, that all, with all that in mind, do you think you could survive? The fact that I might die is probably going to keep me very shaky. But it also might help me survive, so uh, 50-50 on that one. Yeah, I'd probably be the same way, because like just knowing that if you make one wrong step, then you die, that's pretty nerve-wracking. I don't know if I could do it. So anyway, on to the second game. The second game is Sugar Honeycombs. This game is where you pick a shape, not knowing what you're going to do with it. You end up mm-hmm. receiving this cookie-like object with the chosen shape partially cut out in the middle. The, cont- the contestant's job is to fully cut out the shape. If you don't cut out the shape, then you are eliminated and die. So, like, oh. not cutting out the shape means, like, if you, like, make a wrong, like, thing with, like, your utensils or whatever. By the way, you get a toothpick to cut out the shape. And um, and in the game, they had someone had the strategy... Um, of to where you lick the honeycomb thing, and so it makes it softer to where you can cut it out. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I'd be pretty good at that because, uh, I've probably had shapes and like cookies or whatever, and I'd try to do that with them. Uh. So maybe, but again. You die, but you fail. Yeah. That, that, that sucks. Yeah, I just think that I'd be, like, shaky with the toothpick and stuff. Because, like, I, I at that point, I'd know that you would die. So. i just break it with my hands. Yeah. I ain't mm-hmm. got no time for toothpicks. Uh, what, what's the next game? The third game is Tug of War. Tug of War, obviously, like, it's a pretty known game. But for the people that don't know, it's a game where uh, two teams are tugging on a rope. And uh, and so they have to try and get the other team to fall over, so that so that they their team could be like the winner or whatever. So basically, whatever team is left standing is basically the strongest, and like they're the winner or whatever. And so um, and so in Squid Game, there is a massive pit in the middle of the section, so that anyone who like so anyone that's like less stronger just gets like pulled pulled off by the other team and then you just fall into the pit okay one great grammar with less stronger yeah whatever uh <laughs> but i and two i had a i i had a lot of loss um back when i was a kid whenever i played tug of war so i don't know <laughs> yeah I, it, it had, I just have to be on a good team really mm. that's all it is yeah, I wouldn't consider myself as the strongest person ever. So, yeah, I don't know how I'd do with that game. I don't think most people would. All right. Anyway, so the fourth game is called Marbles. Marbles is where you get about ten marbles, and you have to bet. You have to bet on uh, the other person to where you think that they're gonna get mar- most marbles. And so there's two people. Okay, there's you and an opponent. And so basically the point of the game is to where you have to bet marbles. And then uh, so you can, for example, you can bet like five marbles and the other person can bet like three marbles. 
And so if you if the one person guesses that their marbles is more than the the opponents, then they win and they get their marbles. And so whoever is whoever just uh, loses all their marbles first loses, and then of course they die because you know it's Squid Game. Uh, marbles. I never really played with marbles as a kid. Um. But uh, kind of guessing how many marbles there are. I I've never been good at that, so that's probably not my feet of strength. Uh. Yeah, I, I would mean, probably die. I think I'd do well on it because, like, I'm I consider myself good at like betting stuff. So I think I would be able to strategize it out because at that point, if I survived all those games, then I'd be able to, I'd be able to do anything basically. Well, I feel like this one is more mind than some of the other games because the other one, some of the other games are more physical ability, and this mm-hmm. one is more of like using your noggin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the fifth game is the glass tile game, otherwise known as like hopscotch. And so basically with this game, there is a, two rows of glass tiles and um and there's just a pit like a just an endless pit basically below you. And so your objective of the game is to get across without like falling into the pit obviously. But obviously in Squid Game there's a twist. So that twist is there are thinner pieces of like they're thinner like tiles of glass and they're thicker like tiles of glass and so you want to get across the thicker the thicker ones before like obviously if you step on the thinner ones then you'll fall and die and so mm-hmm. basically your point of the game is to get across and jump on the thick tiles gee i kind of see this trend anytime you fail i feel like you just kind of die you know mm-hmm. yeah yeah the quite the trend uh-huh. yeah there's a lot of that in squid game um, you know, I honestly think I'd be pretty good at this one. I mean, I could probably just look at whatever glass tiles thinner than the other. Plus, I'm not the heaviest, so I that would probably be a good advantage. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, how about you? Um, I don't know because like there was there was like um there's a lot of like talk about uh like there's these the you know the two rows. There's the metal, there's two metal, like, I would say, like, lines um, that that separate the tiles or whatever. Oh, yeah. So, um, so everyone's talking about how you could technically, like, go across, like, the two metal beams to get across, but, like, nobody, I guess nobody thought of that in Squid Game, maybe yeah. because they were all, like, traumatized, but um, there is also a glass expert in that and that Squid Game episode, and so like he was one of the contestants, mm, but that's he, d- pretty good. but he didn't tell anyone. Sorry, there. It was just an interruption that happened. Um. Anyway, so I was talking about the glass expert, and so uh, there was this glass expert in the game, and he was like, he he could like tell everyone. He could tell like which ones were thinner and which ones were thicker. Like, the glasses. Well, why would he do that? I mean, couldn't he just win by himself then? That's that's basically what he did. He he basically strategized by himself, like, because he knew everywhere to yeah, go. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd and, probably do that. Yeah, and so he just, he just, like, did his own thing. But a lot of people say that he shouldn't have done that so that uh, there could be more people at the end game. So that he can, like, kill everyone and it'll be really easy. Well, it would be easier if he just kind of, like, let everybody fall. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, um, so the, what's, so apparently I had those six games. So what's the last one? The last game is the Squid Game itself. Now, the Squid Game is basically, there was two people, um, at the Squid Game, but there could be more. It's basically just a fight to the death. And so whoever wins gets the one million dollars or whatever, and uh, and so like it was really it was a really like pivotal moment because that just showed all the emotion that they all the desperation that they really needed to to win the game and the fact that like only one could win 
was like really like pressuring for them and so like yeah they really like put their heart and soul out of it but they like obviously one of them had to die and so yeah honestly I don't think I could I don't think I could do any uh I don't think I can do any fighting so I'm not that good at that uh I could probably hold my ground for a bit but it kind of depends on who I'm going against Mm -hmm. so uh yeah well is there who's the main character of the squid game the main character is contestant four five six because there's 456 people in the squid game and so basically him and all the other contestants are in major debts and so uh how they got to the squid game was uh they there was this guy that like bet on um that bet on this game and they just played like a simple game like bet i'm pretty sure it was like a hundred dollars or something just to win and it just automatically showed that he was super desperate to win just this whatever a hundred dollars um and so he lost obviously because the game was rigged uh so and then after after he lost uh, he got like pun- slapped in the face a bunch of times, and so he basically passed out. And then he was transported to this island, uh, which is the Squid Game Island. And there he he was basically taken into a bed, just like all the other 455 contestants. And so um, he was taken to a bed, and then when he woke when he woke up, he saw this big room, and it was just filled with contestants. So that's kind of how they all got there. I'd be pretty scared out of my mind if yeah. that were to happen. I, I bet anybody would probably hear. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. So well, thank you for watching the film trio, and we will see you in the next episode. Yep. Bye.